In this video, we're going to take a look at a really fantastic tool for QGIS that allows you to filter spatially. So normally in QGIS, you can filter things and you do that using an expression. So let's look at the example on screen where I've got a Google satellite base map. I'll double click it and you can see that I've got it on grayscale by lightness. So I've just got a backdrop layer for context here and I have some California buildings. And if you want to find out where to get these buildings, you can look at the link in the description for this video. But I can right click on that layer and go to filter. And because in this layer, I have the name of the county, which each building is located in, I can double click name, click equals, I'll hit all. It's gonna list all the possible counties in the data set. And then because it's a large data set, it'll take a moment to do this. And from here, I can search for San Francisco. There we go, and double click it. So this is a pretty normal, common type of filter in QGIS. Click OK, and then let's just zoom to that layer. So all I've done there is applied a standard filter so that I can only see buildings that are located in San Francisco. And I was able to do that because the attribute table for this layer has a column that indicates which county a building is in. And in this case, it's in the name column. But there's a really great tool if you want to do filters spatially. And it's a plugin. So we'll go to plugins, manage and install plugins. And here, all we need to do is search for the plugin. So I'll click on all first of all. And then I'm going to type in spatial. So I type in the word spatial and you'll see all the different possible tools. There's loads of spatial plugins. The one we're looking for here, it's got a German name, which I will pronounce as Raumlicher filter. And that just means spatial. So it's a spatial filter and it's for layers that you have, which are geo packages, spatial light layers, or post GIS. So if you have your layer in a shapefile, for example, you can just export it to a geo package and then use this tool. So I'll click on install plugin, super quick to install. And then what will happen is I get some new toolbars. So let's close this. Now here's a kind of scenario that sometimes happens. You may have a building data set like this. And if I zoom in to part of San Francisco, Maybe I only want to show some of these buildings. Now I could select them all and then create a new layer. And if I had an attribute in the attribute table, which told me that all, for example, that told me all these buildings that I'm about to select were in a specific district, then I could filter using that, but we don't have that. And in some cases you do want to filter spatially. So let's look at the easiest way we can do this with the spatial filter. I can click on the polygon tool to draw a polygon. And then I'm just gonna draw a shape, click, 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 pretty typical, round the area I want to extract, or actually more correctly just view. And then I'll right click to close this polygon. And that blue area is selected. And what I'll do is I'll just hit the little eye icon to hide that filter geometry. Now we can see we've just got the area I drew a polygon round. The other features are still there, but if we click on the little, well, I can just hover over it, but if I click on the filter button, we can see there's been an extra spatial filter applied here. And it tells us the geometry that was used. It's basically where I clicked. So it's on the fly, drawing a nice little polygon and using that as a filter. And if I want to save that filter, I can click on the Manage Filters button. I'll call this one San Francisco Area 1. I'll click Save and I'll close that. And if I hit the X button, it'll remove the current filter and it just goes back to what we had before for just San Francisco. And if I want to go to Manage Filters, I can select the one I just saved and I can apply that and close it. It will turn on the 
area as a polygon. If I want to configure that symbol and maybe make it transparent, I can do that quite easily. If I want to give it a, maybe a yellow, oops, configure the symbol. I want to give it a yellow outline so we can see the area. I could do something like that. And if I want to hide it, I can just hide it like that. So let's turn off that filter. And let's say we wanted to say digitize a shape around a specific district. So if I take Google Maps on here, maybe we want to create a view of just where the mission district is and just all the buildings in that area. I could look at that in Google Maps, for example, and I can just draw, I'll do it very roughly right now. I'll just draw a polygon roughly round the mission district in San Francisco. This is very rough, so forgive me. And I'll right click to finish it. And there we have our area. I'll click on the named spatial filters button. I'll call this one mission district. Very roughly. I'll hit save and I'll close that and I'll just hide that. So th there is a good example. Now, if I wanted to just export that as a layer just with these features, I could just right click export and save features as and save it to whatever format I like. But this is quite useful. If you just want to display features from a larger data set, the spatial filter capabilities of this plugin are really fantastic. Well, let's look at a couple more features and then you can explore it yourself. So I'll turn off that filter and let me draw another polygon here very roughly. So we've got a filter here and this little settings button geometric predicate, it's best just to have a go and experiment here. But if I click on Ge well, geometry is selected, so at the moment it's only showing areas that intersect the polygon I drew. If I do B box for bounding box, you'll see it shows everything within the bounding box of the polygon I drew. If I turn it back to geometry, it just shows those which intersect with the geometry I drew. Let me just zoom in a bit. If I change the geometry or the geometric predicate to within, notice the buildings on the edge of my shape when I hit this button. So it's only showing those within. This joint will show the buildings outside. So there's a number of different ways we can do this, but it's great to have these settings. And I'll save this one again as San Francisco area two. I'll hit save and then I'll close that. I'll turn off that filter. I'll right click and I'll zoom to our layer, which is just our buildings in San Francisco. And let's just turn on some of the filters. There's the mission district. I'll apply that one. San Francisco area one. I'll apply that one. San Francisco area two. And I'll apply that one. So hopefully you've got a good idea from this for how it works. And particularly with very large data sets where you might not want to create loads of different subsets through selections and exporting to new layers. This could be a real game changer. The other buttons we didn't look at, I'll leave you to explore them yourself, but if I hover over it, this one allows you to exclude layers from filter. This one allows you to filter from selected layers. And this one allows you to select a rectangular filter area. I'll also link to the homepage for the plugin in the description for the video. It's explained first of all in German, but as it says there, you can just scroll down for the English version. And it's fully documented and well described. And it was developed by the Where Group with Peter Gipper, Matthias Grobe, and Johannes Kruger. So check it out experiment with it and if you want to try it using the same data as I've used here just check the description for the link.